Everybody likes to take pictures of the family, friends, on trips and vacations. And today your inexpensive camera makes excellent snapshots. Much of the credit for this must go to the film from which your pictures are made. Behind these snapshots is film which represents a tremendous amount of work and care and a great deal of science. But modern production makes that film available readily and at low cost. Most people rarely have a chance to examine a roll of film in ordinary room light. This, of course, would ruin it. Here's a chance to take a good look at that film, so you can see more than the numbers in the little red window. A small piece of adhesive holds the film to the backing paper. The creamy coating is the emulsion, the light-sensitive part. The dark side is the anti-halation backing. This helps prevent unwanted light reflections from bouncing around within the film during the exposure, and it helps eliminate some of the curls. The clear base and the two coatings, here in cross-section, basically make film. Cotton is one of the main ingredients in making film base. It is cleaned and treated with acetic acid and transformed into cellulose acetate, a white powdery substance which is dissolved in organic solvents and becomes what is called dope. Here's one of the mixtures that works the dope many hours so that finally it is a smooth, evenly flowing, transparent liquid. And it must flow evenly, for an extremely thin layer spread precisely over a smooth surface becomes film base. Dope flows onto a highly polished chromium surface such as this, part of a huge steel wheel 18 feet in diameter. The wheel is an essential part of this machine that makes film base. These enormous machines are three stories high and almost a quarter of a city block long. The wheel is actually mounted on the floor below and as it revolves, the surface passes here at waist height. This is where dope flows onto it, in thicknesses that can be controlled to within 10 thousandths of an inch. The rest of this mechanical giant is an intricate pattern of rollers and drying apparatus, where over half a mile of base is being carefully dried and conditioned. Cleanliness is part of a routine well established here, as well as in all phases of film manufacture. It's one of many precautions all along the line, a constant fight against dirt and dust in all forms, and simply to make film as free of defects as is humanly and mechanically possible. These machines run 24 hours a day, and as the rolls wind up, new ones must be started without interruption. Each man has his responsibility, and the changeover is made quickly, surely, all in a matter of seconds. extra strips are for the quality control testing laboratory. Samples of the product are taken at all stages of manufacture, and only after approval does it move on to the next exacting stage. Until the lab passes on this roll for uniformity of thickness and clearness, it goes into a storage room. These are the emulsion coaters, the men who operate the machines that apply the light-sensitive coating to the base. This work demands the utmost in physical and chemical cleanliness, and their specially cleaned and treated uniforms must be blown free of lint and dust before they are worn. The contamination list is an extra something that developed the hard way. A tiny amount of a common household item, accidentally mixed with the liquid emulsion, could ruin thousands of feet of film. In the early days, it occasionally did. There's little danger of this happening to your film at home, film that is carefully wrapped and protected. But the coder who works with the liquid emulsion checks the list carefully and avoids using or having in his home any item that is NG. 
not good. This man cleaner may remind you of a Coney Island funhouse, but it's designed to blow away the last bit of surface lint. And finally, the shoes and the soles are given a thorough brushing in this mechanical cleaner. <laughs>